Instant Ralston and regular Ralston, the hot whole wheat cereals in the red and white checkerboard packages present Space Patrol! <laughs> High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! <laughs> In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Cadet Happy is approaching a small fortress in a jungle clearing on Planet X, where Commander Corey is being held captive by Prince Baccarati and Dr. Malangro. Baccarati glances through the gun port. The fool? The little fool? What are you talking about, Baccarati? Coming across the clearing from the jungle. It's the Space Patrol man. You're killed dead. Happy. Watch Corey, Malangro. I'll take care of the cadet with this blast gun. Baccarati, don't. Look, Corey. See what happens to those who defy the will of Prince Baccarati. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting space football adventure, The Revolt of the Space Rats. Commander Corey speaking with a special message for all space patrollers. You have only three more days to enter the Name the Planet contest. The contest closes December 1st. That means you have only three more days to win the gigantic Rocket Clubhouse and $1,500 cash. Only three more days to win one of the 750 Schwinn bikes. Yes, this is the contest that gives you 750 chances to win a wonderful Schwinn varsity bicycle. And there's still time to enter and win if you hurry. Just go to your grocer's today for some instant Ralston. Right on the back of the instant Ralston package, it tells you how to enter the contest. So don't wait. Don't miss out on winning the Rocket Clubhouse and $1,500. Don't miss out on winning a streamlined Schwinn bicycle or one of the 1,000 other swell prizes. If you get going on the contest right away, today you have every chance to win. But you must act fast. There are only three days left. Right now, this morning, take off for your grocers and get some instant Ralston. Remember, right on the back of the instant Ralston package, you'll find the easy contest rules that will help you get your entry in the Name the Planet contest right away. So get instant Ralston today, and I'll bet you win a prize. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure, The Revolt of the Space Rats. With Prince Baccarati and Dr. Malengro locked securely in the nap compartment, Commander Corey and Cadet Happy settle back comfortably at the controls of the Terra 5. The giant planet X grows smaller in the rear view scope as their spaceship approaches the orbit of Pluto on their long journey toward the man-made planet Terra. Hey, Commander, now that Baccarati's out of the picture, what's going to happen to Planet X? Will it become one of the United Planets? Well, that's a difficult question, Happy. It's something the Secretary General and the other planetary leaders will have to work out. Baccarati sure was stupid. I'll bet he's back there in the apps compartment kicking himself for being such a fool. Mm, I doubt it. If I know Baccarati, he and Malangro are busy thinking up ways to escape. <laughs> Not a good that'll do them. In a few hours, we'll have them on Terra under heavy guard. Then it'll be a criminal rehabilitation center for both of them. Until then, we've got to be on the alert, just in case some of his agents make a desperate attempt to rescue him. Yeah, but they don't know he's been captured. His men think his ship is sunk in the great sea of the planet X. Just the same. I'm taking no chances. Watch those view scopes, Pat. Meantime, a few thousand DUs away on the barren, airless third moon of Pluto, a man sits in a sealed shelter wearily turns the dials of a spaceophone receiver. Nearby, on a bunk, his companion stares at the ceiling with dark, deep-set eyes. With effort, the man on the bunk raises his head. Turn it off, Pete. All right, boy, all right. Now you lie down and relax. Never mind me. Keep covered up. I'm hotter than inside of Mercury right now, Pete. The fever's burning me up. Boy, listen. I better go back to that space phone in case Sarkis try to contact us. He ain't going to contact us, Pete. You know it. Sarkis too with us. Why don't you be smart and blast off in that lunar job? Leave you alone? Not your sure, fault. I come down with space fever and can't stand high acceleration. A little lunar ship of ours will take you off this moon. Now get going. All right. I'll go. Now you're talking sense. I'm going to contact a ship that can get you off this moon without shaking you to pieces. A ship with enough power to reach escape velocity real drag. Are you crazy? The only ship that'd bother would be a space patrol cruiser. Maybe. You know what'll happen if the space patrol gets a look at this setup. You'll end up in a criminal rehabilitation center. Maybe I can convince them with just a couple of prospectors. Mm-hmm. Why don't you space a thing to help us if we're going this far? Go talk intercepted the message. 
How long do you think we'd last? You just leave this. Commander, I picked up something in the starboard viewscope. It seems to be coming from the direction of Pluto's third moon, sir. A very small ship. Well, probably lunar class. Lunar class cruiser PG-791 calling Space Patrol Cruiser Emergency. He sighted us, sir. Manicori aboard Space Patrol Battle Cruiser Terra 5. Go ahead, Lunar Cruiser. Commander Corey. That's right. What's your trouble? Well, it's not me, Commander. It's my partner. We've got to get him off moon number three. Is anything wrong with his ship? No. And why can't you get him off? Well, not with this crate, I can't. The exhilaration would black him out for keep. Who is this speaking? I'm Pete Skiller. My partner's Troy Matthews. He's down with a bad case of space fever. What are you doing on moon number three? Prospecting. We, we got a shelter rigged up in a crate. Commander, old Troy needs your help real bad. All right, Skiller. Head back to the moon. We'll follow you. Thanks, Commander. Me and Troy will never forget this. All right, Skiller. Corey out. What do you make of it? Think it's something up in it? I don't know. At least it's unlikely that Baccarati's gang is behind us. Even if they know we've got Baccarati, there's no way they could have known we'd be on a vector close to Pluto's third moon. Yeah, they wouldn't have had time to lay a trap. I hate to take time out with our prisoners aboard, but after all, a human life may be at stake. Buzz and Happy follow the small ship to the third moon and carefully scan the terrain as Pete Skiller lands inside a small crater. Skiller, clad in a spacesuit, waits for them beside the airlock leading to the shelter. Donning their own spacesuits, Buzz and Happy land near the lunar cruiser. A few moments later, they're inside the airlock talking to Skiller. My partner's in pretty bad shape, Commander. How long has he been here? About ten days. Ten days? Yeah. You mean this is the first attempt he's made to get help? Why didn't you space upon Pluto's space patrol? What? Uh, Troy is awful stubborn, Commander. Awful stubborn. Uh, here, he's right in here. You lead the way, Skiller. Keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. Well, old Troy's asleep. Hey, partner, wake up. we got company. Oh, hold it, Skiller. He does look bad. Mm, he helps me. Up and stuff him into a space suit and carry him out to your ship. Yeah, just a minute. You won't go stuffing a sick man into a space suit. You've got to be very careful about moving him. Well, sure, sure. Anything you say, Commander. Frankly, I'd hate to be responsible for what might happen to a man in his condition. Moving him now might be fatal. Well, we've got to get him to a doctor. It might be wiser to bring a doctor here. I've seen enough cases of space fever to know when it's dangerous to move a sick man. Commander. Yes, sir. Maybe this isn't such a good idea, but... Well, I was thinking about someone on our ship. Melangro? Yes, sir. I know he isn't a licensed space doctor, but he knows a lot about it. Oh, invaluable to Baccarati along that line. question is, could we trust him? For right now, both Malengro and Baccarati might jump at a chance to do something decent, just for the sake of the record. Yeah, since there's no chance to escape. You stay here, Hap. I'll go back to the ship and get Malengro. In an aft compartment of the Terra 5, Prince Baccarati and Dr. Malengro speculate on why their long flight to Terra has been interrupted. What is Corey up to? Where have we landed? Perhaps he's decided to take us to Pluto instead of flying straight through to Terra. If uh, this were Pluto, we'd be out of the ship by now. Perhaps, Your Highness, Corey landed for minor repairs. At any rate, every moment of delay increases our chances for escape. Your Highness, someone's at the door. Commander Corey. All right, Malengro, you can come out. Well, Corey, it's about time you were putting me in a more comfortable quarters. Not you, Baccarati. I just want Malengro. I demand to know where we are. Keep quiet. Malengro, do you know how to treat a case of space fever? Ah, could that happy state? Malengro, come out here in the corridor so we can talk. Come on. Uh, don't leave me, Malengro. Corey has no right to... I asked you a question, Malengro. Can you treat space fever? I will match my skill as a space physician with any doctor in the solar system. Now's your chance to do something decent for a change. There's a man here on Pluto's third moon with a bad case of space fever. He's got to be moved in this ship. Excuse me, did you say Pluto's third moon? That's right. The man's a space prospector, so his partner says. If we can get him off here, we may be able to save his life. You could use a good deed on your record, Malengro. How about it? Very well, Commander. If you will give me a medical kit, I will see what I can do. All right, get into a space suit. A few moments later, Buzz escorts Dr. Malengro through the airlock into the shelter on the third moon. Do everything you can. Old Troy and I have been pals for 20 years. All right, Skiller. Let's let the doctor alone. Happy? Yes, sir. Go with Malengro. Keep an eye on him. Help him if he needs a hand. All right, Commander. Skiller, you stay here with me. Oh, but my pardon, can't I? There's nothing we can do. Besides, I want to ask you some questions. Come on, Malengro. In here. So you're prospecting. Huh? Yep. 
Can't say we're rich, but we've had a lot of fun. This is a fancy layout here, Skiller. Lots of expensive equipment. Oh, uh, you collect a few odds and ends if you're in the racket long enough. You seem to have collected everything but prospecting equipment. Hmm? What's that? You don't have any testing instruments or digging tools or ore samples. Just what are you here for, Skiller? Well, what's the matter? I was afraid you'd get around to that. You've been so good about helping old Toy in there, I'll tell you. Boy and me have had a run of tough luck lately, so we tied up with Jan Osaka. Jan Osaka? He's the biggest crook on Pluto. I know it. How do you fit in with him? Well, Thor and me have been, well, sort of go between. Osaka's gang robs the spaceship, turns loot over to us. We hide it here on the third moon till he sends somebody after. Well, that's how he operates. I wouldn't tell you this if Osaka hadn't let old Toy down and him sick the way he is. I'm good and mad. I'm going to tell you something maybe you don't know, Commander. Sarko's big, but he's not the top one. Sarko's taking orders from somebody else. Who I don't know. In the next room, Dr. Malengro examines the unconscious man. As Happy watches carefully, ray gun drawn. Malengro opens the medical kit and, with the sure movement of a professional, prepares the patient for emergency treatment. Then he selects an electro injector from the kit and opens the patient's throat. I'm going to need help, Cadet. What do you want me to do? I'm going to administer something to make him immune to acceleration effects. Sometimes there's an involuntary reaction to the electro needle. Will you hold the patient, please? You mean hold his wrist? Yes. Hold him very tightly. He must remain absolutely motionless for five seconds. All right. I've got him. Steady now. This is a very delicate process. Oh, oh the injector slipped. Got you in the hand. What a pity. You can't even speak, let alone move. Now, I'll just take your ray gun. It'll be some time before you're able to use it. Thank you. Now to take care of... Oh, Mr. Commander, that's all I know about Falcon. How about your partner? He might know a little more, Commander, but... Well, we've been pretty close to Andy. I don't think he knows who Falcon's working for. Either. Don't move, Commander. Alengro! <laughs> What's going on here? Help me get Corey into the ship. Are you crazy? He's the commander. Do as I say. Even... I'll explain to your boss, Sarka. You'll dispose of the cadet when he comes to take you and your partner off the moon. Mr. Corey. He's going back to Planet X. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. You have 1,750 chances to win a prize. In the Name the Planet contest. That's right, Space Patrollers. If you act fast, if you act within the next three days, you may still win one of the 1,750 prizes in this amazing contest. But this is your last chance. You have only three more days to win the gigantic Rocket Clubhouse and $1,500. Only three more days to win one of the 750 Schwinn Varsity Bicycles. Only three more days to win one of the 1,000 other prizes. A thousand pieces of real space patrol equipment, 250 powerful autosonic rifles, 250 husky outer space helmets, 250 official space patrol emergency kits, and 250 handsome stainless steel space patrol wristwatches. But there's no time to waste. Only three days left. So go to your grocers today and get a package of Instant Lawson. The new package with the picture of Commander Corey on the front. Now on the back of the Instant Lawson package, you'll find the easy rules that will tell you how you can win one of the 1,750 sensational prizes in the Name the Planet contest. So get some instant Lawson at your grocer's right away, today. And now, back to our space patrol adventure, the revolt of the space rats. While holding Prince Baccarati and Dr. Malengo and their ship as captives, Buzz and Happy responded to a distress call from a lunar cruiser that led them to Pluto's third moon. There, Pete Skiller, a self-styled prospector, led them to his partner who was suffering from space fever. Knowing the man's condition to be serious, Buzz brought Dr. Malengo in to treat him, leaving Happy to watch the wily doctor. Malengo used an instrument from the medical kit to paralyze Happy, and then, taking Happy's ray gun, Malengo rushed to the airlock of the prospector's shelter and overpowered Buzz forcing Pete Skiller to carry Buzz to his ship. Now, Buzz regains consciousness in the control compartment of the Terra-5, with Baccarati standing over him with a ray gun. 
Our position is reversed now, Commander. You are the prisoner. Where's Cadet Happy? Why, uh, back on moon number three, Commander. But don't worry. He'll be well taken care of. But it was a trap. Pete Skiller's working for you. Pete Skiller? Oh, that old space friend. Yes, he's working for me. But he didn't know it until an hour ago. It was purely by accident that you landed on this moon. And Dan Osaka is one of your men. Yes, Commander. A very valuable cog in my machine. If you had succeeded in getting me to Terra for a brainograph test, you would have learned something very interesting. But you're going to tell it to me anyway, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. Because you can't do anything about it. Tarka is about to destroy Pluto City. The schedule time is, uh, let's see, just 36 hours from now. Destroy Pluto City? Well, why? What good will that do you? It will wipe out the nearest space patrol base to Planet X. You wipe out an entire city just to destroy a few space patrol ships? Of course. It is more economical that way. And less risk for Tarka. He can drop a cosmic bomb from a spaceship... After his men are safely out of the city. What about Happy? What are you going to do with him? I haven't given it a thought, Commander. I suggest you worry about what is going to happen to you when I get you back to my castle on Planet X. From the shelter on Pluto's third moon, Happy is recovering from the paralyzing effects of the electro-needle injection as Pete Skiller hovers anxiously over his unconscious partner, Troy Matthews. Troy, speak to me. Troy, can you hear me? Skiller, listen to me. There's very reason. Cadet, can't you do something? Look, Skiller, I know you want to help your partner. Why not? Well, Sarka will hear it. He'll have his men blast us before help could get here. So you're working for John Osaka, huh? Yes. First, I thought it was just plain space piracy. I know it's something bigger. I wish me and Troy had stayed clear of it. Something bigger? What do you mean? There's somebody above, Sarka. The doctor was here. He has something to do with it. Malengo? That means Prince Baccarati. Yes, it's Dr. Malengo. He said he'd have Tarka come here for me and Toy. Think he will? Think he will. I'm afraid he will. Uh, what do you mean, sir? If Tarka shows up, well, he'll see to it that none of us get off this moon alive. What are we going to do? Get in your lunar ship and blast off. What about old Toy? We can't leave old Toy. Malingro's taking Commander Corey back to Planet X. Is that right? Yeah, that's what he said. Well, if he succeeds, there are more lives than Troy's at stake. If we rescue the Commander, we can save Troy, too. All right. Tell me how. Well, we can't hope to overtake the commander's ship in your little lunar job. If we could only... Hey, what's that stuff over there, stacked in the corner? I don't know. Toy and me lugged it in. Tarka's gang took it off the cargo ship. Some sort of electronic equipment, I guess. Hey, it's space phone neutralizing equipment. Huh? Frequency dampers. It blocks out space phone signals. Uh, reckon that won't do us any good. Wait a minute. Baccarati's robot patrol ships. Oh, what about it? Well, those unmanned ships Baccarati has circling Planet X. If the ship approaches, they send out warnings to his castle. That's so? Yeah, but with one of these neutralizers, we could block out the warning. Son, you aren't thinking of sneaking up to Baccarati's castle in that little lunar ship of mine? Oh, you ain't got power enough to, to make a slow landing on a big planet like Planet X. We'd be smashed to bits. Well, wait a minute. We could take over one of those robot ships. That could land on Planet X and maybe overtake Baccarati. Well, maybe you got something, son. Yeah, but what about old Troy? Well, we'll have to leave him here, Skiller, but... Well, it's his only chance, and ours. All right. So long, partner. We'll be right back. With Happy at the controls, the small lunar ship speeds toward Planet X. As they near the defense perimeter, Happy cuts on the spaceophone damper to blot out warning signals from the robot patrol ships. A few moments later, a robot ship appears on the view scope, and Happy changes vector. The sensitive detecting devices on the robot pick up the lunar ship, and the spaceophone faithfully transmits data to the receptors on Planet X. But the signals are neutralized. And skillfully, Happy joins airlock with the robot ship, and he and Pete Skiller go aboard. Great group and comet. What a ship. Not a soul aboard. That's right, Skiller. It circles Planet X on automatic pilot. You run this by hand? Sure, it's just as simple as your ship. All you have to do is pick this lever up to the pilot's control position. There. Now we're on manual. This section of the panel has all the controls we need. You look familiar? Yeah, sure does. Like my own ship, almost. Right. Now, we'll just cut your lunar cruiser loose and head for Planet X. Sorry, Cadet. I got other plans. What do you mean? Hey, where'd you get that gun? Out of my ship. Now, let's not have any trouble, son. Just step back out of the way. Skiller, what are you going to do? I thought we were going to... I'm going back and pick up old Troy. This ship can land on Planet X and can blast off a of Pluto's third moon without hurting my partner. Now, Skiller, I thought we agreed to rescue Commander Corey first. Sorry, son. I reckon I just ain't that big. 
20 years, it's been me and old boy. But he fought for us, so we just didn't get in the habit of fighting for anybody else. And he'll just step down, away from those controls. Well, okay, Skiller. I'll step down. Now, get this, Skiller. I'm heading for Planet X. With this robot ship, maybe we can overtake Baccarati and trick him into thinking his castle is surrounded. I can do it by myself if I have to, but I'll leave it up to you. Whose side are you on? Why, son, there ain't no question about it. I'm on our side. With Prince Baccarati at the controls, the Terra 5 flashes across the darkness of space toward Planet X. Enjoying the turn of events, Baccarati keeps Buzz in the control compartment under the watchful eye of Dr. Malengro and his ray gun. In a few minutes, we will be safely inside my castle, Commander. I will see that you are with me when the report comes in on the destruction of Pluto City. Baccarati, listen. You've got to stop that plan. Pull off, Sarka. Pull him up? Why should I? signal from a robot ship. What is it, Malengro? It's a warning. No. Malengro, what is it? It's a signal from robot patrol ship X-34, Your Highness. Enemy ships are approaching planet X. Space patrol. Where are they? Wait. If you please, Your Highness. Excellency, some of them have landed and near your castle. What? Your castle's surrounded. Keep Corey covered. I'll pull the space patrol yet. I'll land on planet X. Your Highness, you can't. Not near the castle, you fool. It's emergency dock house number five. Hundreds of miles out of the castle. Near the jungle? Yes. If the space patrol ships are grounded, they'll never be able to locate us. Keep tuned to that robot ship. Yes, Your Highness. Feverishly, Cadet Happy works the code sending apparatus of the robot ship, while Pete Skiller follows the Terra 5 toward Planet X. Cadet, I think they're going to land. Good. I'll cut out the code signal. Cadet, take a look at that view scope. It landed the commander's ship. That means Baccarati will probably be leaving the ship. Yeah. Then what do we do? We'll set this robot ship down in the jungle and then work toward the commander's ship. Well, what if they see this ship? Well, it's one of Baccarati's own ships, so maybe they won't... Well, maybe it won't alarm them. Anyway, it's a chance we've got to take. While Malengro holds Buzz's gunpoint, Prince Baccarati sets the space patrol battle cruiser down in the jungle near a domed structure of concrete. Then the Prince and Malengro force Buzz out of the ship and into the squat fortress. There, Commander. You'll be safe here from your own men. Watch him, Malengro. Yes, Your Highness. This isn't going to get you anywhere, Baccarani. The space patrol ships are surrounding your castle. They'll have seen my ship land here in the jungle. Oh, I'm not worried, Commander. Not worried at all. I intend to make myself comfortable here for a few hours until I hear from Farka that Pluto City has been destroyed. Keep the Commander covered, Malengro. Your Highness, wake up. Prince Baccarati, wake up! Uh, oh, I love you, I love you. Your Highness, look through the gun port. Someone's approaching. What? Across the clearing from the jungle. It's a space patrol. The cadet. Watch Corey, Milengo. I'll take care of the cadet with this blast gun. Baccarati, don't. Watch this, Corey. See what happens to those who defy the will of Prince Baccarati. <laughs> that was close. Now I'll finish him. Oh, you Your Highness, look out! Uh, uh, Milengo! <laughs> You're right, son. Hold him, Your Highness. I got him. Shoot, shoot. Yes, Excellency. Give me that. Oh. He's got the gun. Got the light. Got the light. I got it. Run, Your Highness. Run to the door. Commander. Commander. Uh, just a minute and a half. Commander, you all right? Yeah. Fox, Roddy, and Malengro got away. Where'd they go? That door in the back. They cut off the lights and made for that door. Let's blast it open. We'll get him. Hold it, Happy. Let him go. Huh? Right now, there's something more important than catching Baccarati. What do you mean, sir? Commander, I saw him. Killer. You better hurry. They're headed into the jungle. I'll show you. They just popped out of a hole in the ground and dashed into the sea. Well, then we don't have to break the door down. They came out of that passage. If we hurry... Hold it, we... Happy. We're going back to the ship. And let Baccarati get away? We can't spare the time, Happy. If we blast off now, we can save Pluto City. Pluto City? Yes. I've picked up enough from Baccarati to round up Sark and his gang before the city's destroyed. But we'll have to hurry. Sark, I'm with you, Commander. I'll help you, and so will good old Troy. That is, if you'll take him off that moon. I certainly will. I'm very anxious to talk to good old Troy. I admit we did wrong, Commander, but I'll help you round up Sark. I'm not the honest truth. All right, Skinner. Let's get going. Come on, Hap. Yes, sir. But I sure hate to give up hunting for Baccarati. Hey. Look, at rockets. What was that? Something in the jungle, Hap. Taking up where we left off. Left off what, sir? Hunting for Baccarati. Come on, let's go. 
An action preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure in just a moment. Space Patrollers, this is Commander Corey. Today is positively the last time I'll be able to tell you about the Name the Planet contest. You have only three days left to win the huge Rocket Clubhouse and $1,500, or a Schwinn bike, or one of the 1,000 other fine prizes. You must get your entry in the contest in the next three days. So today, right now, go to your grocers and get some instant Ralston. Look for the package with my picture in the front. And don't forget, the easy rules for entering the contest are right on the back of the instant Ralston package. So act fast, act now, and win one of the terrific prizes. You've still got every chance to win if you get instant Ralston now. <laughs> And now, a preview of next week's exciting space football adventure. Buzz and Atty have cornered Prince Baccarati in a spaceship on the surface of Planet X. Holding a half-conscious man before him as a shield, Baccarati works his way toward the controls. All right, Baccarati, let go of the professor. Don't come any nearer, Corey. You're all through, Baccarati. Get away from those controls. It won't do you any good to try to blast off now. It's this space phone I'm interested in. There. Now, stay where you are, Corey. The transmitter is turned to a frequency that will set off a Kraconite bomb. One more step and I'll destroy Terra. Be sure to join us next week for the thrilling story, Baccarati's Secret Weapon, when Instant Ralston and regular Ralston again present Space Patrol! <laughs> Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Cameron as Commander Corey, and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston, produced and directed by Larry Robertson, executive producer Mike Devery. <laughs> Other players were Bela Kovach, Norman Jolly, and Ken Mayer. Dick Tufel speaking. <laughs> now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Instant Ralston and regular Ralston again present Space Patrol! <laughs> This is Dick Tufeld in Los Angeles reporting on the first airplane with swept-back wings used in the U.S. Air Force, North American's F-86 Sabre Jet Fighter. In a moment, we'll hear from George Welch, the famous test pilot of the Sabre Jet. The Sabre is 37 feet long, weight 8 tons. Wings are swept back at a 35-degree angle, top speed more than 650 miles per hour. Now, George Welch, recorded at Edwards Air Force Base. I was lucky enough to fly the F-86 Sabre Jet for the first time. First time up or the 50th, every flight is important. That's why I have to keep in top shape. I like to eat good food with lots of energy in it. Rice checks and wheat checks meet that test, and they taste exactly right. I think you'll like them too. No other cereal, puffed or flaked, contains so much nourishment in such concentrated bite-sized form. So take a tip from George Welch, Joe Lynch, and other top test pilots. Make your cereals rice checks. And wheat check. All you space patrollers know that fire can cause a lot of trouble, so be careful with matches. Be careful when you're around the stove. Protect your home from fire. Be sure to see another exciting space patrol program on your local ABC television station. Consult your local paper for time and channel. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the World